Hello everyone, this is TSET ABCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. Uh, hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and uh, Boxing Day yesterday. So yeah, because I'm in the first position, let's take a look at the board first. You are not a lot of brick available. Also not a lot of wood apart from the six tile decent ore and uh, actually decent ore wheat and sheep your 8 5 10 could be a decent first pick with the option of something like uh, i don't think so 9 5 12 will be open actually with 8 5 10 there is difficult to get wheat when it comes back to me because 9 5 10 will be picked up i think uh, maybe 6 11 12 is picked up as well yeah maybe 6 3 11 will be open but i also like um, 6 9 3 here with the access to the wood port i have the best wood on board the best break although it's just a 3 and a decent ore I might have to give up on either wheat or sheep with that setup though. I think I'm okay with that for now. Yep. So I was saying hopefully every one of you had an excellent uh, Christmas and boxing day and uh, the long weekend if you guys don't celebrate christmas or some celebrate something else uh yeah and uh, next week let's all prepare for the new year so uh, let's take a look at the rankings of other players on the sport so orange is global late 94 which is decent okay global 4000 um but has played 17 games not a lot yeah sushant i think i played a game recently is global 118 as a yeah, very strong player here So overall it's a decent uh, board that said I mean I have lost the last few games and I think my rank now is around uh, 200 yeah actually it's 215 so hopefully I can win a few games and um, get to the top 10 or at least the top 100 before the end of the year let's see here actually black has a very strong can get a very strong setup with 8 5 10 6 5 11 yeah absolutely love the position black is in Actually, because black gets a very strong OV chief, very strong production, being in fourth position. Red goes for 834, 834. So if actually if eights and fours hit, red will be in a very, very strong position. We'll have access to the ore port as well. Yeah. Now let's see what orange does. I think orange here goes for something like 9, 10, 11 or maybe 9, 4, 11. And then I will be getting uh, 6, 11, 12. Okay. 
So here instead of going for 6, 11, 12, I think I can go for 6, 11. Point downwards and then get a settlement on 11, 12. I think that seems to be a better option. Because if I want to get to the wheat port, I think this makes a little more sense. The Going towards the brick port doesn't make a lot of sense. And building on only the 12 tile, getting on 11, 12 seems better choice to me. So I'll go for this. Here 810 is also actually an option for me with the access to the wood port. Maybe that is not a bad choice to be honest. No, but I still think like if I go for 810, I think red will want to target me. Uh, let's go for the safer route here. So I mean, for me, six, nines and threes are very important, but the thing is three will help red quite a bit. Yeah, and I don't even have any sheep, so it is going to be difficult for me. Maybe I focus on the wood port first. But um, I think focusing on the wood port is better. I will get the wood the wood port plus I increase my wood production. Whereas 11, 12, I don't increase my wheat production too much. It's just a slight bump. So here red is very, actually red has a city in hand because four has rolled a couple of times and red already started with an ore. I don't have any ore to give away, but maybe I can offer a sheep. Yeah, I don't have ore. Yeah, one is to two is still fine, right? Because the black only wanted to buy a dev card there. Yeah, maybe I have to offer the same trade here. Yeah, black agrees to it. I don't think I have much choice because I don't produce any... Uh, yeah, I don't produce any sheep myself. And now I think every six can be considered as a wheat and a sheep for me because I get two woods. Yeah, orange should be blocking the eight ore. Let's see what orange does though. Might consider blocking the six wheat. The thing is, black already has two dev cards. So black will easily display the knight. I think blocks the three or three brick and targets me. These fours have been rolling quite a bit. Yeah, might block the four ore. Yeah, it does block the four ore here. Because both red and orange bought a dev card that turn, I think it make, makes them look a little scary. Yeah, but now it's a difficult choice. I think now the nine ore or the three ore can, three brick can be blocked. Yeah, here I would love to roll a 7, just block the 8 ore. 
six is fine as well let's see if i get any trades here okay looks like i'm not going to get any trades so i'll just hold on to these cards and end my turn Okay, the three is a pretty good roll for me, but now it seems to be a better roll for red as well. Maybe blocks the six weed, yeah. Wow, another three here, that's nice. Because now for six rolls, I can get a road settlement. Yeah, here I'm also considering if I can get a settlement on 9, 10, 2, to be honest. A 6 does roll. Actually, I can get a city on 6, 9, 3 here. Yeah, but I don't think so. I need to do that right now or focus on it just yet. I'll just try and get a settlement on 11, 9, 11 12 for now. thing is if I get a city here yeah I think the, if I get a city I have a good chance of getting to 9 10 2 which will help me get to the which will help me fight for the longest road as well so maybe I'll go for that option here Yeah, these sixes are pretty good. Yeah, the good thing is not a lot of eights have rolled. So at this point I can just, let's see if I get this trade. Yeah, you are, I can't afford this trade to be honest. But do I want it though? No, I don't think so. I think my best choice here is to just get a city and build a road towards 11, 12. It's better I don't fight for 9, 10, 11, especially with, sorry, 9, 10, 2 with orange not being in this, uh, orange being a little grumpy here. So not sure. I mean, with the sixes and threes rolling, it has helped me quite a bit. So orange does a eight is to two there just to get a city. So, I mean, with these cards, there is not a lot that I can do. I think my best option is to just do a four is to one, get a sheep. Hopefully, uh, the sheep is not stolen. Okay. Orange is just targeting black. So, that is a little unfortunate. I mean, it helps me at this point, but then with respect to the game, it is not 
good here wow three eights roll in a row here if a six had rolled i would have just got on a settlement yeah because of that six now sorry because of that 11 maybe if a six rolls i can actually get a settlement on nine ten two which would be a good improvement to my setup giving me sheep and increasing my over production okay maybe red is considering that yeah it does consider it I mean, red is happy with the eight being unblocked there, so don't think it's much of an issue here. Although now, even if I roll a six, I will not be getting my settlement on nine, ten, three. Yeah, but then now, yeah, red is in a very strong position because of that trade with uh, orange. Here has to block the A. Okay. So, I mean, as planned, I'll just go for the nine ten two here. Yeah, here, I mean, I mean, I can start buying dev cards as well. Hopefully I get VPs. If red has a knight, red should be playing it. So with that six, I think I'll just buy a couple of dev cards. I get a knight, which is fine. I think, okay, I get a monopoly, which is quite nice here. Especially because of a few eights roll. I can try and go for it or monopoly on ore would be quite nice. And based on the rolls here, I think I can even get a settlement on 3, 10, 11. Here. I think I'll just play my knight. Uh, for me, red has to be an obvious target. I can build two roads, but I cannot get a settlement just yet. Let's see if I get a trade here. Yeah, I don't think so. Anybody has brick to give away. But how about uh, two woods for two ores? Okay, orange accepts it. So this way, I get a settlement on 3, 10, 11. And I still have a settlement spot on 11, 12 open. So that would give me the VP, that would just give me the win here. All I need is a single six to roll or even 10 is fine. Actually, any, any roll here might give me the win. Okay. Red plays a knight here, which is the right thing to do. Yeah, I would like to play a monopoly on board. I need a few threes to roll, I think, or maybe sixes is also fine. 10 means that there are three woods here. So, I mean, actually, I just win the game now. 
right i can just play a monopoly on wood i pull three woods and uh, or i pull at least three woods i just get a settlement and win the game yeah i think this fight between orange and black actually helped me quite a bit Okay, that is just unnecessary. So here, as planned, just get a monopoly on board and uh, win the game. So I mean, I think the sixes were very very strong for me. Helped me quite a bit. Also nines. So I had rolls that helped me. The threes and elevens were quite nice as well. Very few eights. I think that was good. Fours and fives were a little scary, but then overall, I think it was just a decent game. Like I think black and orange fighting against each other helped me quite a bit. It was a quick win because of that. Also getting monopoly, the card that I needed. Yeah, orange also had decent production, but I think orange had to do four is to ones a bit, whereas for me the wood port was like huge, like very very strong. So yeah, that's quite nice here. I win the game. Uh, a short video here, I think, but it is what it is, and that puts me back in the top one fifty. I'll try and win our next few games at least to get back to top hundred. But now, because I've already reached top hundred once this season, I'm still hoping to get to top ten, and if not, at the very least, at least top fifty by the end of the season. Uh, anyway, uh, bye for now, and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.